Hey, hey, what is up? Rush Tube, Andrew Rooney here. We made it to 100K. As promised, we get Rush Week 2.0. Now we do have a rather large Rush slash Neil Peart playlist, so make sure you do check that out. And I have, full disclosure, I have actually covered the first song off this Moving Pictures 1981 album, Tom Sawyer. So I was just checking in before, I did do a live version and I ended up doing an isolated drums version of the song, not the actual studio take of the song. So that's what I'll be getting into today. So this is Rush Week and it is going to be a deep dive on Moving Pictures 1981, which I believe is the most commercially successful album by Rush. And I believe if you're in a country where Rush has played, not played here they're just not played here sorry but if you're in a country where rush is extremely popular then uh, it seems like these are the songs that you might be catching on the radio that are still possibly in rotation today so i decided to do the deep dive i hope you enjoy it come along with me make sure to subscribe hit that like button and let's get it now i will be doing something pretty cool with this week and that is i'll be able to do somewhat more of a deep dive analysis thanks to drumio drumio have every single Rush song transcribed, charted out for you to enjoy, learn on the drums if you wanted to learn these songs. And uh, I'm going to be following along with the Drumio link. Now, you as a subscriber of my channel get access to a free 30 days on Drumio. You can go along, you can grab every single Rush transcription ever, every song, every Rush song ever made, you can get the transcription to it. Think about that. All right, with that said, let's hit. Tom Sawyer. I'm excited. I've done the live version. I've done the isolated drum versions. Let's check out the album version. Let's go. Kind of surprised how excited I am about this. Straight away, snare tone. Check out the snare tone, people. The way he just caught the uh, hits there. Let's just back that up. Listen to the way he catches these. Dun, 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 dun. Writing out the day's events. It's not afraid of a 30 second note flurry, Neil Peart, either around the toms, around the kit, with his hands, or on the feet. We got 30 second notes on the feet there. A lot of internal dialogue and chatter between the open hi hats. Uh, bar 21. Let's lead back into that. Listen to this intensity and sort of percolating groove effect that he managed to capture by this tight 16th note groove, one-handed 16th note groove, but with the open hi-hat barks in there, really effective. Been four four so far. Maybe as the skies are wide. I gotta do a cover of this. Okay, you can hold me to that. Tom Sawyer cover. Hopefully you caught my limelight cover. Uh Tom Sawyer cover, I think. At some point. When I when I get some time, gotta do a Tom Sawyer cover. Oh, here we go, seven eight. Oh, 
2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Bass line too. The drumming's absolutely killer, of course. Check out the bass work here. Crazy. 716. All right. So just in this passage alone, 78, 716, 38, 78. All right. Another really good, almost jazz style setup here, coming out of these uh, this four to the bar snare section. What is that lack? Hold on. Okay, so it's a poly hand hand floor tom mid tom kick. Double kicks here. Floor tom, mid tom, kick, kick, floor tom, mid tom. So that makes up six notes. And then when we're starting on the next group of six, it flips over to starting on the kick and then the hands and then the kicks. So it's got a really nice flowy nature about it that like I really dig it. That is some prime time Neil Peart, guys. Listen to how he catch, catches again, catching the crash hits. Check it out. So there's a concept we've got in jazz called hits or kicks. Catching those hits. So it's like an ensemble figure. Bang, 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 bang. And setups is a whole other part, which is normally the drummer's responsibility. Not only catching those hits, but setting them up musically. Really nice. I'm gonna have to back that up again, I think, because that was just a little bit too tasty. Really nice slower triplet grouping there. Great change up. Neil's uh, fills are often, they go up to 30 second notes a lot of the time. Really nice to hear him drop down into the, the lower triplet subdivision. Listen to the effect it has, like a dragging kind of effect. He's very metronomic, he's still in time, it's just got a dragging effect. between the bell and the flat of the right. The world is the world is loved and life are deep maybe as his eyes are white Back to business, man. Exit the warrior today, Tom Sawyer, he gets high on you and the energy is a train, he gets right on The accuracy on these offbeat hi-hat barks it is really tricky at this tempo to catch that clean and that 
with that kind of intonation. Those hi-hats, I mean, it's obviously it's going to be easier. You're doing a one-hand hi-hat beat. It's going to be easier to hit the ones and the ands. He's hitting the e's and the r's, man. Check it out. Comes the next one. These are the kind of things that look easy, but I know from experience they're actually really difficult to pull off with that amount of, again, yeah, intonation and accuracy. It's all about execution at this point with this kind of stuff. And, um, you know, the proggy, poppy stuff, it's all about excellence of execution. And we got it right here. Really jagged groove there. Wow, why did they end it there? On the fade out, it sounded like the band were just jamming it out on the fade out and we got some really really interesting uh complex material on that fade out kind of want wanted more of that is there an extended cut of tom sawyer let me know in the comments if there is an extended cut i want to hear more of that fade out that's kind of the juice for someone like me that that was what i wanted to hear more of we know neil can execute structured complicated structured verse chorus bridge parts but it sounded like they were sort of letting loose a little bit at the end there and um, letting go of this rush control, I guess. And, you know, a lot of you guys have mentioned how even live, they will play note for note. People expect and know these songs note for note on various instruments. It was quite nice to hear Neil with the brakes off there at the end and just cutting loose and shredding some pretty impressive chops. You know, it's been a little while since I've um, gotten to Tom Sawyer, uh, as I say, I did do the isolated drums and I did a live version. So amazing to go back and listen to the album take. I think a lot of you guys did say, hey, you do need to check out the album takes to get the full Rush experience. So here we are. Guys, I really do hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoy Rush week day two, which tomorrow we got Red Barchetta. Looking forward to it. I'll catch you then. Take care. Ciao.